I'm Howard Hale with the Horseman's Corner, bringing you useful information from people involved with the world of horses. I'll be back with today's guest right after this. Horseman'sCorner.com is a website you're going to want to visit. There's really some good horses for sale in the for sale section of Horseman'sCorner.com. There are new programs up there six days a week. And on the auction calendar, really some good horse sales. The Nile horse sale up in Montana. That's going to be this Saturday. And then Peeper Red Angus is having a horse sale along with their cattle sale on the 24th of October at the ranch. Really good horses at horsemanscorner.com. With us again today, Roger Kyle, Hidden Ridge Farms at Franktown, Colorado. Roger, when people are working with horses, do they sometimes not give them enough time to process what you're trying to get across to them? Yeah, I think so, Howard. That's pretty well put. You get a little bit of a change with a horse, and then we immediately push for more. Gosh, off times within seconds. And we keep piling it on the horse. And for some reason, we look at animals and, and horses more than dogs or anything else, I think, being able to understand what it is we're telling them to do right now. And if it's not right now, then we start to get short with them. It confuses me, but there seems to be more patience with humans and dogs <laughs> than we have for horses. Horses are, are such intelligent animals, but they need the time as well. And if you put too much pressure on anything, they're just not going to be able to learn. You can't keep compounding the issue like that and expect the, the proper kind of changes. So horses then become resistant and defensive. Roger Kyle, Hidden Ridge Farm at Franktown, Colorado. And you can find more on the web by going to horsemanscorner.com. Some really good programs on there, including more from Roger. Thanks for joining us with the Horseman's Corner. May God bless. Join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hale.